we're going to change it up here. We're going to switch mm-hmm. gears to the... <laughs> change it up here. <laughs> we're we're going to switch gears to the All-Star game because that's happening in Chicago, mm-hmm. and we'd be a bad Chicago podcast if we didn't talk about it even a little. Um, that, and I don't really want to talk baseball at all this week. I'm just fucking sick well, of I mean, it. the only thing baseball was Sean holds down the fort. On the baseball end, I will give him his credit and his yeah. Due. I mean, the only thing baseball wise is that someone came out with some outlandish um, Arenado rumors that the White Sox have made a trade for him, but then everyone, including the White Sox, have completely spanked that um, down. So really, if we talked about it, it would just be speculation on something that might not even be true. True. All right. So let's move into our next topic. Mm -hmm. It's the All-Star Game happening in Chicago in a couple weeks. I'm a little excited for it. I might have been more excited had Zach Levine been on a team, but he is not, and that's okay. Do you know what Zach was going to do if he made the roster? What was he going to do? He was going to do the dunk contest, the three-point contest, and the All-Star Game then. Dang. And because Kaplan tweeted out and he goes, man, this would have been fun to watch. Isn't the NBA about excitement? It uh, is, about entertainment. but no respect, as we mm-hmm. as we covered last yep. week. But we did have our two captains, and we did have the draft, mm-hmm. which went down. And it was pretty interesting because of a lot of choices made. So I'm going to read yeah. through both teams. Then, Ricky, I want your feedback. Um, I'm going to read a LeBron team, and then I want mm-hmm. your feedback, and then we'll go to Team Giannis after that. Mm-hmm. All right? So Team LeBron, of course, he had to go for his buddy, Anthony Davis, Kawhi Leonard, Luka Doncic, and James Harden. Great lineup, stellar starters. And LeBron had the first pick. Yep. So they go Dame Lillard, this is the bench unit, mm-hmm. Dame Lillard, Ben Simmons, Jokic, Tatum, Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook, and DeMontis Sabonis. Now you tell me what you think. Yeah, I mean, when I looked at this team, except for what, Ben Simmons, Jason Tatum, and DeMontis Sabonis, I was like, so really, it's just the West. Like, it's mo- most, like... And that's another thing you'll see it when you read Giannis's too. Giannis has obviously the same amount of West guys that LeBron has East guys. It's like this is supposed to be getting rid of East versus West, but are we really getting rid of East versus versus West when these guys, most of their buddies, are probably in the same conference as them? Yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> jump into it because you brought it up. Team Giannis is Giannis on Skumbo, Joel Embiid, Pascal Siakam, Kemba Walker, Trey Young. And then the bench unit is Chris Mid, Bam, Rudy Gobert, Jimmy Butler, Kyle Lowry, and Brandon Ingram. Donovan Mitchell wraps it all up. Mm-hmm. And you kind of covered the fact that, you know, Joel Embiid is going to... That's the one interesting mm-hmm. thing is Joel Embiid didn't get his buddy in Ben Simmons. Because he's but, soft. But Giannis ends up with Chris Mid. Mm-hmm. I like that move. I like the fact, I honestly, I wonder if Joel Embiid, you know, the Jimmy Butler move might have been, uh, mm-hmm. you know, influenced a little because they were really, they were really good friends. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot of East on the East team, a lot of West on the West team. Um, I just, just you know, a, a lack of guards, perhaps, mm-hmm. on the uh, East team, do you feel? I mean, you're talking about Giannis's team? Yeah, um, that's the East team. Let's see, the only guards we've got, Kemba and Trey, so really he's going to be starting two point guards. Um, out there, Kyle Lowry is yeah, the only other one. I mean, Jimmy, you could play at the two. Jimmy, we've always had the discussion of two three. Um, when it comes to Jimmy, and right? Don but, Mitch is a two also. But on Team West, you've got Russell Westbrook, Chris mm-hmm. Paul, uh, Ben Simmons, Damian Lillard. They've got four point guards basically on yeah, the bench unit. But yet again, I think it comes back to and like this is my biggest gripe hmm. with these teams and. There's no way to fix it because it's not like you can tell LeBron and tell Giannis to not pick guys that they want. Yeah. It's just, to me, this was the whole reason we went to this was, hey, we're going to shake it up. Yep. It's not going to be East versus West. Yeah. And then, like, I see these rosters, and except for three guys on each team, it's basically East versus West. And it's like, that's why with me, it's like. Well, I mean, the bench unit is seven players. Mm-hmm. So, and that's all they got to choose. Yeah. I mean, but I, I'm not mad because they, obviously, if you're friends with guys in the West, go ahead and pick the guys yeah. that you want to pick. It's just I don't know if there's a way then to shake it up by having a. You got to take away the you got to take away the the guaranteed starters mm-hmm. East West because that one 
had Giannis been able to get guys from the West starter pool and LeBron from the East starter pool, like, would that have been different? Would I mean... It, would it, yeah, that would have been very different. Yeah, I mean, because... But the would, starters in the East and the West are the starters in the East and the West. Like, that's, that's well, just what it is. They had... So, the eight picks, like, Giannis could have picked James Harden. He didn't. But, like, the interesting thing is, like, you bring up, what if Giannis could pick Jimmy Butler? To be a starter, if he could pick a Ben Simmons, yeah. to be a starter because the guaranteed starters, yeah. like I get it, they you want to get like you want to keep the fans involved because ooh, it's a fan vote and it's an All Star game, but it's like I think you're out of something. Like just get rid of the automatic starters and just let this let these guys pick the guys they would want to start with. Yeah, I'm maybe, cool with all maybe, guaranteed All Star participants. Maybe it's the same thing. Maybe they pick the same eight guys. That they would pick here, but I'd be on. I'll be honest. I don't think Pascal Siakam makes a starter if he wasn't voted in a starter. He's I don't know very good. He's good, but I don't think Giannis or LeBron pick him as a starter. I agree. Over like Jimmy, but like Jimmy Butler would be a starter in my mind. Um, maybe Chris Mid, maybe a Ben Simmons, a Nikola Jokic Damian might be Lillard. a starter. Dame Lillard, um, even Russ, James. Russell Westbrook. Yeah, I was gonna um, say. The other thing I want to ask you yep. is, and of course, we know how the captains are chosen. Mm-hmm. It's by the two top vote yeah. hitters. Yep. Do you think it hurts the All-Star game having the same captains? I know this is only the second year we've done this, um, but I'm assuming it's going to be the same next year until LeBron retires. Maybe. Um, does it hurt it to have the same two captains? Luca wasn't too far behind in voting. Which I was pulling for Luca. I wanted some, I wanted someone different yep. to be a captain. I wanted a different personality on that draft that they had the on yeah. TNT. Because to me, it's like yes, Giannis is funny. LeBron is. LeBron makes his jokes, but LeBron's not going to make LeBron's jokes are calculated. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. his are he's calculated. got a brand. Fucking Giannis is hilarious, and yep. I love Giannis. I love what throwing like, shade the fucking shady Ta- threw at uh, James Harden. Yeah. It's like, nah, I want someone who's going to pass me the ball. Yeah, uh, Taco <laughs> Fall almost an All Star because of the vote, though. Yep, I would have see, but stuff like that I'm okay with because it's an All Star game. No, because these are things that they're judged for at the end of their career based on. Well, he only had two All Star game votes, or one. Brings up what you said. Should they even be like? And that's the debate. Should at the end of the career, should it matter how many All Star games you made? As I a know, kid, I thought it was. I know As, you said last week when we talked yep. about Zach, you were kind of on the side of like, no, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't. And I'm up for just making the game fun. Make it's it fun. Even only if it's all NBA. Fun. That's be- the only metric. Mm-hmm. That's the only year end thing yeah. that can cover. Like I'm just done with it. Because I know summer league is different, but. How fucking fun was it every time Taco Fall hit the court in Summer League? That crowd. Oh, it was insane. Going, even like non Boston fans. Oh, no. The, going the crazy. The entire stadium when went fucking, fucking nuts. Taco Fall stood up. Like, and that's what it would be at the UC for the All Star game. Every time he stands up, people would be excited. Yeah. Like, I mean, shit, if if the Boston Celtics were playing mm-hmm. when the earthquake happened, I would be like, oh, Taco Fall must have entered the game. <laughs> Like, no, Zion created that. Yeah, that was that was, that was a moment during summer oh. league. But uh, no, nah, I mean it was just it, it it was wild how much attention Jake, from fans yeah, he drew. Jake, you went off on why Zach did make it, but then see, but if that's the case, like if we're just gonna make it fun, yeah. then I'm okay if Zach didn't make it because then we're not like then at that point it's not like yeah. the, to me the All Star game as it is right now are the be- like the best of the best. Yep. But if we're gonna go more on the entertainment side, yeah, I think that's. Where I we're wouldn't getting. be mad then if Zach didn't make it because it would be like a oh whatever you made the All Star game kind of a thing. I agree. The only reason I was mad at Zach not making the All Star game is because of the weight we put on the All Star game, and by him not getting it, it's the league not respecting him in my mind. Yeah, that's what we talked about it's last fair. week. It's fair. Um, so I guess. In my mind, I'm looking at this All Star Weekend and saying LeBron James, and it's not even close as far as these two teams in the game. We'll, we'll backtrack a little mm-hmm. bit to the other events yeah. during the All Star Weekend because so I want to cover a little bit of all of them. Give but, our predictions. Yeah, why weeks. not? Um, but but for this game itself, like I feel like the rosters are so unbalanced mm-hmm. that why just LeBron James team has has scoring okay. in bunches in buckets. They got all the guards, mm-hmm. the best guards. So. I want Team LeBron to win. I want to win by a fuck ton. 
Uh, but what do you think? Do you think that it's going to be that close? Uh, I mean, God, I look at those starters, and it's hard not to go with Team LeBron. Um, only because, like, I want to see how Pascal Siakam does against, like, Anthony Davis and Kawhi Leonard. Um, All right. That, that, I say, would be a fun matchup. Kawhi comes up with the ball, Pascal Siakam's guarding him. Um, kind of old teammates from last yeah, year. Yeah, it'll be a couple um, of moments. I want to see how many times James, Har- James Harden travels with the basketball. Zero travels um, called during this game. Because that's what he does. Zero um, travels called during how this many game. Assists Shit, Anthony Trey Davis Young traveled has. more times last night than he did. <laughs> But I mean, Ben guarding <sighs> Joel. Yeah, I mean that'll be fun. Yeah, I can see where you can because you got two centers there guarding each other. Yeah, see what I did there? Yeah. Centers. Um, I just with me, I can see where you can say LeBron has. LeBron has the more notable name talent. Mm-hmm. Where like people are gonna sleep on Bam out of Bayou. They're gonna sleep on Chris Mid. They're gonna sleep on Rudy Gobert because they're not the yeah. sexy names. Yeah, it not not a lot of those guys are gonna have. Fun but they're moments. good. Yeah. Like they're good players and like. Yep. I just hope it's fun. I hope it's an entertaining game. I hope it's not a complete blowout. Demon King dropping uh, a little bit of a Woj bomb during mm-hmm. our show. Yeah. Uh, Colts, ex Colts wide receiver Marvin Harrison has been dropped by the Charlotte Hornets, uh, AKA Marvin, Marvin Williams, Williams. which was a okay. good one. Uh, <laughs> he, he said he was retiring after this year, so they're going to yeah. let him go ring chase. Mm-hmm. Um, see if he can do anything, provide a little bit of. Jake All right, side shooting. Joel guarding Ben. Can't wait. And then you're the worst was because I called him two centers. Uh-huh. Yeah. He deserved it. But we're still sleeping on Chris. Sha- yeah. Shaq calling Embiid soft yesterday. Yeah. Except fine. he he spelt it wrong. He said uh S O F capital T when we mm. all know how it's spelled. It's S S W A F T. You got it. Come on, give it to give it to S W A. Or it would be S A W, not S W. I'm I'm a fucking idiot and can't spell. Yep, I repeated it. It's okay. I'm tired. <laughs> um, this has been a great segment. Mm-hmm. Sixers will be better. It has been a great podcast yeah. overall. I've I'll take the first it. segment. I've enjoyed it. I'll take the first segment. I've enjoyed it. It's all stars. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't matter is what we've determined. So you're because saying... Zach Levine didn't make it, so it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> so you're saying Team LeBron? Wins? Team LeBron wins by twenty. I don't because because the way these quarters work now, I know it's not possible. <laughs> Remember, the, these quarters reset to zero. So and then the winning team or in the fourth quarter. It's basically that gap. So is in the goal. order for them to win by twenty, you're saying they would have to have, let's see, um, many more points. No, I'm trying to. Even if they were, if they were equal, they can't win by twenty. They would have to be at least four points behind, because at the how the fourth quarter works is if they're both at a hundred, a hundred, mm-hmm. first team to one twenty four wins. Oh, okay. So if it's a hundred to ninety six, then there's a possibility if the Giannis team scores four points and LeBron scores twenty four, I am plugged that headphones. they can go ahead and win by twenty. So yes, it is possible. Ah, uh, whatever. Math is fun. It, they're they're gonna win by. You lots. just unplugged it. I I pulled on my headphone oh, cord okay. with my with my everything. shoe accidentally and it just unplugged okay. everything. But we're good. I was just like, as long as we're still live, we're definitely uh, still live. But uh. You said you wanted to take a look at the other stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, the, the skills competition's kind of fun. Although I heard Derek Rose pulling out potentially. Yeah, he did for he sure. He did officially? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that's a bummer. Yeah, sad news he's pulling out. Uh, probably the Bone Spurs. I don't, acting know, up I don't know what the reason was. I just know that. Uh, that shit was Bone Spurs. He did, he did pull out. Um, did you oh, who's left in the uh, in the talent skills competition? Yeah, let me. Let me see if the you actual the website has it. Yeah. Because um, we got the Rising Stars game as well. Yikes, Jake. Um, what? Not reading that one on the show. Oh, God. Fucking Jake. What are you doing to yep. us? Um, let's see. Skills challenge, three-point challenge, dunk contest, the AT&T slam dunk. So you said the skills challenge yep. is going to be the participants are Bam Adebayo from the Miami Heat. Patrick Beverly from the LA Clippers. Okay. Spencer Dinwiddie from the Brooklyn Nets. I like it. Shea Gilgis, who replaced Derrick Rose. I kind of like that the Oklahoma a lot. City yeah, Thunder. Yeah, I like that. Um, a lot. Chris Mid from the Bucks. 54 to 90 um, Club coming soon. DeMontis Sabonis from the Pacers. I dig it. Pascal Siakam from the Raptors. Ooh. And JT from the Celtics. 
I'll probably I like the Shay replacement. You know, I, he's an underdog. He's a dark horse because he didn't make it in on his own. He got mm-hmm. the he got the bump from D Rose. So I'm gonna go with Shay Gilgis Alexander. I'm going Spence. Spence gonna win it like he did in 2018. Nice. Um, did you? And the reason why I'm picking him too is, did you hear the uh, the comments that he made about it? No. Where um, basically he threw some shade where it's like. Yeah, you know, I won it in 2018, and they didn't invite me back last year for reasons. <laughs> like, something like that, to where it's like, it. now he's salty. back, and he's going to have that salt, and he's going to want to win it. That's so fantastic. I'm going to Spen- go with Spence winning the skills competition. All right, what we got next? Is it the dunk, or are we, we go in the Euro let's versus... Go, let's go Rising Stars. Okay, Rising World Stars. versus U.S. So yep. the world is Brandon Clark, DeAndre Ayton, Josh Akogi, Luka Doncic. Uh, Wait, how is Luka on the... He's on the world team. Oh, the world team. Okay, yeah. I thought you said U.S. No, world team. Uh, really Mo Wagner. Yep. Nikhil Walker. Ale- or Nikhil Alexander Walker. Yeah. He, uh, he R.J. Serve. Barrett. Rui Hachachamora. Shea Gilgis. And Shvi Mikhailuk. Yeah, I love I love the top end of that world team. You just don't like fucking uh, Nikhil Alexander Walker. He didn't deserve it. <laughs> he really didn't. He's just Coat Taylor riding uh, his brother's name. Not the, brother, cousin. The U.S. team. Devonta Graham. Yep. Eric Paschal, yep. um, John Morant, John oh. Jackson Jr., oh. Kendrick Nunn, Miles Bridges, P.J. Washington, Trey Young, Tyler Hero, Wendell Carter, but Wendell Carter's injured, so Zion will be playing. So Zion replaces Wendell. So we've basically got the Grizzlies, the Hornets, the Heat. Mm-hmm. All in this game. That's like, like we one. You know, they it, all have multiple players yeah, going. You look at it. Both of these teams. The world has the first overall pick from um, two years ago. Yep. Or three years ago was DeAndre. No, two years two. ago he was the Luca draft. Yeah. Um, the U.S. has the first overall pick from this year. Mm-hmm. Zion um, Williamson. But like, and they have the number two in John Rant, But the world has the number mm-hmm. two in Luka Doncic. Yep. Well, so number three in Luka Doncic. I'm sorry, number three in Luka Doncic. Who's number two? There? Marvin Bagley. Marvin Bagley. That's right, the bag man. What happened to that man? <laughs> he fell off the map already in year two? Uh, yes, he did. Didn't he get injured? Sorry, he did. Yeah. But, like, he's playing again. He's just not mm-hmm. that good. Yeah. That's why they went and got Jabari Parker. I don't know. This uh, because one, could, Luke be a, a this one could be a good game. Sorry. Like, Kings, I love the Kings. It's just Luke Walton's mm-hmm. ruining you. I'm assuming you're going to pick the world, though. Yeah. Like you're gonna go world, I'm gonna go USA. I love the USA team, but I mm. because John Rant, Zion Williamson playing together, I can't sounds wait to insane. See that fu- I can't wait to see that fucking that connection. That sounds amazing, and I can already imagine what the dunks with are Trey look like. Young. Like Zion's gonna oh. get passes for days. They've got such good, such good pass. Uh, you know what? I I I can't. I'm going US. I can't. I can't go. I want to go. Like the world's a good team, but I gotta go US. Like Zion gonna dominate, but I love my boy Zion. I want, I want, I want both. Can can I have both? Put me down for sure. both. Sure. Dave says it's going to be a tie. Tie game. Um, also, Everybody Demon wins. King about the skills challenge said Pat Bev is a past winner. Also, the dog is going to win it. Um, and then Jake said, imagine if you guys. Shut up, Jake. Got the second pick. The second I don't want to hear it year. and then think uh, about that's it. That's what we were hoping for. Yeah. Um, Three point competition. Uh, we might, we have a dog in the fight in this one. Um, Because Zach Levine was forced to do it by Jerry Reinsdorf, I'm assuming. Yes. Um, So we got Zach Levine. um, Davis Bertrands. Yeah. Bertans. uh, Bertans. Devonta Graham. Yep. Joe Harris. Oh. Buddy Heald. Wooden award winner. Put Put some some respect respect on it. it. Dame Lillard. Duncan Robinson and Trey Young. I really want Duncan Robinson to just win this for no reason. Dame's winning this. (laughs) But, like, he's not. And I think it's Dame or Trey. Like, just mm-hmm. the guys who take so many fucking threes a game. Like I think they're both around like ten a game, right? Or eight a game. Yeah, somewhere in that range. Uh, Davis is good, but I don't know if he'll be. Oh, you know what? I feel like I'm sleeping on Joe Harris for some reason, but I feel like he's a a rhythm shooter. He's a past winner. He is a past winner. He won it last year. Yeah. So I don't know. That's a really good lineup. Mm-hmm. Those guys. I'm gonna, all I'm gonna go great. Dame just because it's one thing Dame hasn't done. I'll, I'll take the underdog in Duncan Robinson. Duncan Robinson. See, I I want the guy who didn't deserve to be in the NBA. I say that I want fucking uh, Dame Dame to win it, but, but you I want would Zach. not be mad if Trey if Trey won it. Or I don't or think Trey. Zach's gonna win it. Happy surprise. I'd be I'd be glad if he did, but I don't think so. And then the dunk contest that I'm probably not gonna watch. Yeah. Um, Pat Connaughton from the Bucks. 
Pat Aaron Collins got hoops. Gordon from the Magic. Yep. Dwight Howard from the Lakers and Yikes. Derek Jones Jr. Derek Jones Jr. is going to win this. I want Derek Jones Jr. to win. Yeah, he's because gonna win. it's either going to be him or Dwight. Because some idiot in the fucking comment section last week decided <laughs> that they're like Derek Jones Jr. You're getting upset over trading him. No, they're clearly <sighs> going to not pay him and move on. No, Derek Jones Jr. is fantastic, and I love him, mm-hmm. and I want I want him to succeed in this situation. So, <laughs> the fuck you guys on Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon has never lived up to the potential that mm. he has, so I won't root for him. Also, there's one thing we haven't voted on yet. Hmm. The celebrity game, Dave. Oh, my God. Do you Stephen want to hear Smith. the roster? Give me the Stephen A. Smith so, roster. So you want the away roster first because yes. Will Bond's the other coach. I love Will Bond being a home <laughs> coach because that's amazing, yeah. but give me Stephen A. So, Smith. So Stephen A.'s team yep. at captain, Chicago recording artist, Chance the Rapper. Okay. okay. Then he's got Qua- Quavo. Is that what it is? Rapper. Um, he's good, though. And then the reason why I say he's good is I saw a clip on Twitter him, Bieber, and some other rapper, someone help me out, um, were balling out in a court, and fucking Bieber's got a shot, man. He's got a shot from the corner I didn't know about. Um, Taylor Bennett, another rapper. Mm-hmm. Um, LaRoyce Hawkins, actor from Chicago PD. Okay. Um, Anthony Spice Adams, former defensive tackle it. of the Chicago Bears. Love it. Uh, Mark... Lars L- Larsry, co-owner of the Bucks. Maybe I shouldn't have made you read names. <laughs> Fucking co-owner of the Bucks going to be out there for I Stephen mean, a. Milwaukee basically thought they're little Chicago. Ronnie 2K. Ronnie 2K Ronnie got 2K on? Ronnie 2K be playing. Oh, my Marketing God. Marketing director at 2K Sports. I don't even know um, Caitlin Ohashi, gymnast. Um, Lil Ray Howery, actor, comedian. Uh, Ajay Will, or Asia Wilson, or Aja Wilson, she was... Mississippi State last year? I think she was like the first or second overall We pick didn't do the WNBA, the draft, WNBA draft last year, draft. so... Um, and one. then Darius Miles is the NBA legend on that team. That's uh, rough. Will Bond's team, yeah. his captain, Chicago native, rapper, recording artist, Common. I um, love it. Also got Bad Bunny on that team. Uh, Hannibal Burris is on his team. I'm, I'm loving Will Bond's team. Kane Brown, four-time AMA award winner. Um, John Baptiste, musician and band leader of the uh, Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Yep. Um, Alex Moffat, actor, comedian, Saturday Night Live. Um, chef Jose Andres, um, chef and humanitarian. Dope. Famous Los, a comedian slash social media influencer. I hate uh, that term. Did Jenny, recording artist, don't know who that is. Um, Chelsea Gray <laughs> is the WNBA player and the NBA legend. Quentin Richardson. Oh, that Will Bond's Will team Bond's should winning. win. Will Bond's that, winning. That shouldn't. Although I would love if Stephen A's team won. I just want to watch Stephen A scream at his team. <laughs> They're micing him up the whole night, right? I think so. Thank God. Oh, they should. That Stephen A. Smith, as much as people want to hate on that man, he is a gift does Kevin to Hart, sports. Does Kevin Hart smuggle himself into this game? Whether being <gasps> courtside or what? CJ Punk, are you being serious or is I like I can't tell if this is real or not. He's saying Stephen A's assistant coach is Guy Fieri. Can you I please confirm? So. I think so. The coach of player <laughs> town. <love> you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what? Read it. It's just the, they call him the coach of Flavor Town. The Sophie in there. Dropping the little on top. Uh, let's see. Is, <laughs> is Guy Fieri Stephen A. Smith's assistant coach? I need to, That's real. That is real. Yeah. Okay, that's legitimate. That's wonderful. Because I remember seeing a picture of him and Guy Fieri together. Good um, God. Okay, that's fantastic. Yeah. Oh man! <laughs> well, that's 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 one that of might be the watch game. of the All Star Week. You know what? I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna listen for the highlights of that game. I don't know if I'm gonna watch the whole thing, but there's gonna be some good moments. All right, that's that's when I look up what are what are tickets looking like for the fucking uh, celebrity All Star game? Jeez. Friday at six p.m. Dave at the UC. Um. All right. Yeah, I'll look that up. <laughs> Let's. We've covered. Everything going on this weekend, yes? I think so, yeah. All That's right. all the events. This weekend. The All-Star Weekend. Mm-hmm. We're not recording on All-Star Weekend. I wish we were going, but unfortunately, the tickets are really expensive. Um, yeah. I know a couple of our patrons out there, shout out to uh, Celebrity Sam. Game is sold out. Um, I was trying to get the uh, World vs. USA game tickets. Yep. Rising um, Stars. Rising Stars game, but we uh, probably ain't going. 
Um, Dave's so, like, I don't want to spend that money. I'm just, I'm in a real cheap mood right now. But uh, hey, it's that's life sometimes. But I do want to give a shout out to our patrons. You guys mm-hmm. are dope. Uh, we've been recording for like an hour and a half now. So Ricky, can you dump up a quick thank you screen? Oh, we forgot to do that at the beginning. Yeah, I want I want to give a little shout out. I was busy, you know, not introducing you. Yeah. So that's that's how this show started. Usually something gets forgotten in Super. Absolutely. Um, okay, so I want to shout out to Alexis Blau, Batalio, Brayon, uh, uh, Braden. Wow, that. D looks like an O to me. Yeah. I have horrible vision. Yeah. Uh, Charlie, Edwin Eric, Sean, not that Sean, Henry, Hubertus, Jake, John, Patrick, Soapy, Sam, and, and Tim. Pete, and Tim, who still needs to get added to this. Yeah, I will. Maybe tonight I will. before we record the fast break tomorrow. Um, And Sean is Demon King in chat. Amazing. Yeah. Sean is Demon King. Thank you guys so much. We've got one more <laughs> segment coming up for you. A and banger. It's going to be a banger because it's <laughs> all about the Chicago Bears and how we're fantasy drafting basically every quarterback in the NFL to come to our team <sighs> because we're so unhappy with Mitch Trubisky. This Sean Demon, that Sean, that Sean right there that I'm <laughs> clicking on, I see that Sean. This Sean. Nice. 